Echo. Ask Soundstream to play pop music. Playing pop music. Echo, stop. Hello, my name is Caroline, and in today's video, I'll show you how to play your music, your audiobooks on your Amazon Echo device with a skill called SoundStream. This skill works by uploading the music and audio files you already own to your Dropbox account. If you have music files saved to your hard drive, this solution will work for you. Let me start with a quick demo. Echo, ask SoundStream to play folk music. Playing folk music. Echo, pause. Wow, that was easy. In this video, I'll show you how to set up SoundStream to play your music on your Echo device. I'll show you exactly where to upload your music to Dropbox. And as a bonus, I'll provide links to free audio books. Now let's get started. This is your reminder, please put your devices on mute as I will use the wake word frequently in this video. Now, why are we doing this? This video is for people who have a collection of music, audiobooks, audio content saved as files on their hard drives or expansion drives. As time goes on, it has become harder and harder for you to play the music you already own on your own devices. In September of this year, 2020, Google Play Music sunset their ad-free hosting and streaming services. And in late 2017, Amazon stopped letting users upload their audio files to their Alexa in favor of a subscription-based service called Amazon Music Unlimited. But what if I just wanna to listen to the music I already own on my device? With SoundStream, you can upload your audio files to Dropbox and then play your music on your Alexa. Now, I have covered other solutions on how to play your music on Alexa previously, but those solutions required you to have a dedicated server that is on and connected to the internet for it to work. If you have slow internet service or your internet service goes out, well, there goes your music streaming too. This solution is a new Alexa skill called SoundStream that plays your audio tracks directly from your Dropbox account. I'd like to give a big thank you to Voice Activity, the maker of SoundStream, for sponsoring this video. Thank you. SoundStream is currently available in the US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and India. Spanish versions of SoundStream in the US and Spain are currently in review by Amazon and hopefully they will be available by the time you watch this video. The folks at SoundStream would love to make this skill available in Italian, French, German, and Japanese. If you'd like to help, I'll provide their contact information in the description field below. For this project, you'll need a Dropbox account. If you don't already have a Dropbox account, you can sign up for a free Dropbox account that provides two gigabytes of free storage. Now, full disclosure, I already had a Dropbox account before I learned about SoundStream, so this solution was just perfect for me. One quick note, if you're signing up for a brand new Dropbox account, you will need to verify your email address with Dropbox for SoundStream to work. Now let's start over by heading to alexa.amazon.com. Then we're going to click on skills and then I'm going to search for sound stream. Now that I found sound stream by voice activity limited, I'll hit enable. And now that I have enabled the skill, I'll be prompted to link my account. I'll click link account here. And then after typing in my login and password for Dropbox, and then authorizing SoundStream to connect with my Dropbox, I will get this success message called SoundStream has been successfully linked. Excellent. So now we are in business. Now let's head over to Dropbox. And here is my Dropbox account. I'm gonna go into apps and then I'm gonna go into SoundStream. The SoundStream folder is automatically created within apps in your Dropbox once you authorize your account with SoundStream. I recommend that you organize your music into folders for each playlist. For example, let's say I like jazz music and I have created a folder with jazz music inside of it on my desktop here. All I have to do is drag and drop it into the apps SoundStream folder to upload it to my Dropbox. And let's see, it is uploaded now. I'll just hit refresh 
and you should see a new folder called jazz music containing the jazz music from my playlist. Perfect. Now let's try it out on my Amazon Echo device. Echo, ask Soundstream to play jazz music. Playing jazz music. Unlock greater experience with premium access. Echo, next. Echo, stop. Excellent, it works. Supported audio formats include MP3, M4A, AAC, OGG, and WAV files. Next is audiobooks. If you own an audiobook, you can upload your audiobook files right here. Now let's go back to our SoundStream folder within our Dropbox, and you'll see I have this folder called Pride and Prejudice. I downloaded for free yesterday the entire audiobook for Pride and Prejudice in the public domain. And then I unzip the file and I upload it to my SoundStream. Now, how can you do this? Now, this is where I said I promised you I would give you resources for free audiobooks, and I will link to this below. Uh, so here is a link, openculture.com slash free audiobooks, and it's got a ton of free audiobooks here. Uh, you can get these free MP3 files now, and you download them as a zip file and then you unzip it on your computer. So I'll show you that just in a second. So that's one place where you can get free audiobooks. Uh, LibreVox, I don't know how to pronounce this, is another place you can get uh, free audiobooks. Browse by title. For example, I saw Jane Eyre here. Just download Jane Eyre. So let's check out downloads. I just downloaded Jane Eyre uh, from the public domain. I'm going to unzip that file. Now I have Jane Eyre as an audiobook on my computer. I'm going to rename this folder Jane Eyre. I'm headed back to my SoundStream folder on my Dropbox, and I'm going to just upload Jane Eyre to my Dropbox. Now let's check out Pride and Prejudice. Echo, ask SoundStream to play Pride and Prejudice. Playing Pride and Prejudice. Unlock greater experience with premium access. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Chapter 1. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune, however little... Echo, stop. Perfect. That now works. Let's check out Jane Eyre. Echo, ask Soundstream to play Jane Eyre. Playing Jane Eyre. Unlock greater experience with premium access. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Preface. All right, perfect. So now we have Jane Eyre that I can listen to on my device. And you saw me, I just uploaded it to Dropbox while I was making this recording. So that was pretty cool. That message that you heard before the music or before the audio book started playing is because this is a premium skill. A premium skill means that there are additional features that you can buy. According to the documentation, you are limited to 10 playlists with 10 tracks per playlist in the free version of SoundStream. If you want this message to go away, then there is a monthly subscription model that you can opt into. It builds right into your Amazon shopping account once you purchase it. This is similar to how there are apps on your phone that have in-app purchasing for premium features. Let me show you how to unlock the premium version of the skill. Echo, ask SoundStream, what can I buy? Products available for purchase at this time. Premium access. To learn more about a product, say, tell me more about premium access product. If you are ready to buy, say, buy premium access product. So what can I help you with? Tell me more about premium access product. Listen to music, books and podcasts from your Dropbox with unlimited playlists and unlimited tracks per playlist. To buy it, say, buy premium access. Buy premium access. Premium access is free for 14 days. Then you'll be automatically charged 80 cents a month plus tax. Cancel anytime. Check the Alexa app for terms. Should I start your free trial? Yes. Great. You're signed up. You were listening your Jane Eyre playlist. Would you like to resume? Yes. My thanks are due in three quarters to the public for the indulgent ear it has inclined to a plain tale with few pretensions. Echo, stop. Now let's start over again now that we have premium access. Echo, 
Ask Soundstream to play jazz music. Playing jazz music. Echo, shuffle on. Echo, next. Echo, pause. Echo, resume. Echo, stop. Awesome, it works flawlessly now. Thank you for watching my video on streaming your music to your Echo device. Thank you Voice Activity and Soundstream for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.